Does IVF increase the risk of birth defects? This is a major worry which people had, especially in the early days when IVF was still new, because the concern was, is you're fiddling around with stuff, you're doing artificial things. And when you do something artificial, you're increasing the risk of the embryo being abnormal, as a result of which you're increasing the risk of a birth defect. The good news is now we've been doing IVF for so many decades and millions of IVF babies have been born throughout the world. And a lot of these babies have been followed up very carefully. And we know that whether you do IVF or whether you do ICSI, the risk of birth defects is not increased in these babies. And if you stop to think about it, that's actually commonsensical. Because ART does not stand for artificial reproductive technology. It stands for assisted reproductive technology, which means we're giving nature a helping hand, which means what's not happening in the bedroom for infertile couples, we're helping to do in the laboratory, which means we're using your eggs, we're using your sperm, we're just mimicking the natural in vivo process. The in vitro process in an IVF lab is exactly a carbon copy of the in vivo process in your bedroom. So there's really no increased risk of birth defects and there's no reason logically why birth defects would increase. Having said all this, why is this increase apparent? For one thing, a lot of older women do IVF because they're not getting pregnant in the bedroom. And we all know that older women have an increased risk of birth defects, whether they got pregnant in the bedroom or whether they did IVF. So it's not the IVF which increases the risk of birth defects. It's just the fact that their age is advanced. And the second thing is that when you're unlucky and have a birth defect in your bedroom, you just put it down to bad luck. But God forbid, if you end up with a baby with a birth defect after IVF, you end up blaming the IVF, even though IVF doesn't deserve the blame. And sometimes there's a little bit of ascertainment bias. So please understand, IVF does not increase the risk of birth defect because we're not adding things to the eggs and the sperms and the embryos. We're just following the natural in vivo process in the laboratory.